Alright folks, it is Friday 13. In the evening hot. Same location where I feel those three hogs. Alright, let's see what happens tonight. I'll be right back with an update. Hello folks and welcome to North Texas Hunting and Outdoor Adventure. Alright folks, I am in position. I got the feeder about about a hundred yards from me. Let's see if I can do the same thing. This is where I shot. I shot one hog over here and then I shot two over here. So I'll be right back. It's getting dark. Let's see what happens. Right now is the perfect time for a thumbs up. Alright folks, I'm going to switch over to Green Hot. It's Right now it's 6.30. I like the Green Hot at night. Alright, I'll be back with an update. Hopefully those hogs will show up here shortly. Perfect time for a thumbs up guys. folks Stop inch. Hog kill number 15 with the ATN Thor 4. Alright, took off, but I'm gonna have to go locate him. Well, folks, that's hog number 15. He went down and he got up and took off. I'm gonna give you minutes, let him expire. That's hog number 15 with the 308. The PSA PA-10 film with the Thor 4. Alright folks. Friday 13. Not bad at all. Alright folks. See you guys in the morning. Thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe today and turn on the notification bell. Well folks. I'm going to drive up there. It's been a... Uh, it's been about 10 minutes, maybe a good 10-15 minutes, that should be enough. I don't think it's too far from there. He went down, I'm thinking it's a big old boar. So I'm going to drive up there and I can use my thermal to locate that hog. Not bad for a Friday 13th, not bad at all. Well, folks, it is Saturday, Saturday afternoon. After my morning hunt this morning, after I shot that 10 point buck, I decided to come back out here where I did the hunt last night and to look for the hog. Because last night when I shot him, when I shot this hog, he went down. He's kicking, screaming. And suddenly he gets up and he takes off. And I just could not believe that. 
So I found the hog this morning, uh, today, a while ago. I'm driving back here. Grass kind of tall. And um, I'm driving. I'm almost, almost to a point to give up. And I said, well, maybe I'll need to go a little further. And um, I think it was about 150 yards. Let's see. Apologize for the wind. I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look for the uh, uh, the feeder, but it's the feeder's back there, about 150 yards. Well, this guy here, right here, he travels wounded about 150 yards, and under that tree right there, in that shade. He was right there. When I approached, I approached this hog, and I'm fixing. I'm at about 10 yards from this hog, and this hog suddenly gets up again, and he starts walk in this direction slow he can't run so overnight he's got this this is where I shot him let me turn the the video to the other side right here you see this this is where I shot him this area right here So you know that that right there is, he should have died immediately. You can tell right there, this bloody area right there. These hogs are tough, I can't believe that. I'm going to take him to the uh, campsite just to weigh him. He's a pretty good size. Shot him with the 308, the PSA, PA-10. And I got it filmed. I filmed the kill with the Thor 4. 230 pounds. That is a big old hog. That hog right there is going to make a very happy family. Hope today you subscribe. Remember to turn on the notification bell, hit the like button, and share if you care. Alright, to subscribe right now, just click on my personal icon and then remember to mash that notification bell. We'd we'll like for you to check out these other videos and I will see you guys on the next video. I